straight from the TMZ newsroom. It's the Hollywood Beatdown with this man right here, the reigning UFC welterweight champion, actor, entrepreneur. What else do you do, man? Man, you're making me sound good out Stand-up here. Stand-up comedian. You know? Tyler hey, I did. I'm going to do it again, too. I got yeah. another one set up pretty soon. Yeah, so we got a big show. Get my jokes in line. Let's get started. Let's do it. All right, Tyler, what are you fired up about this week? I'm fired up about Donald Trump. Uh-huh. And obviously, they altered his physical examination. Oh, you think so? And they gave him some additional stats. You're calling BS on a presidential uh, physical hey, examination. They boosted your stats, Trump. Uh, we know it. All right, earlier this week, Donald Trump got his physical examination from Dr. Ronnie Jackson, who says that Donald Trump is 6'3 six and 239 pounds. 259. You don't, you don't, 262. You think they, they padded the stats? Looking at Donald Trump, definitely he is not nobody 6'3", and definitely way above 239 pounds. All right, so I got, we're going to play a little game, right? right? Okay, so Donald Trump, let's just say he is 6'3", 239 pounds. Which he's not, a, but we're going to say it for I got for, a bunch of people, set. I got a bunch of famous people here, and I want you to guess whether they are bigger or smaller than Donald Trump. You ready? All right, All right first, let's go with your UFC buddy, Stipe Miocic. Stipe Miocic, the reigning heavyweight world champion of the UFC. Bigger or smaller Hold on, you than know Donald what? Trump? Sorry, Trump. Sorry, brother. I, 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 I spoke too soon. How tall is he? Well, I know. Six you got to guess. Four. You got to guess. He's, he's six foot four and about 230. Donald, you know what? You, hell no. Nah. Yes, he's bigger than you. You think he's bigger? I think he's bigger because he's a heavyweight, but I think he's actually got muscle, which you could think, weigh a little bit more. So you think Stipe is bigger than Donald Trump? Stipe Miocic is six foot four, 246. He is bigger than Donald Trump. Hey, You're I was right. right. I one was right. One. Next one is Chris Hemsworth. You know him. With a nice little stud. arm pair going on. Four. Bigger or smaller than Donald Trump? Uh, I'm going to say he's smaller than Trump. All right. you uh, it's Weight wise, at least. I don't know about the height. You're right, actually. He's 6'4, 220. So he's taller than Trump, but he weighs less than Trump. Are we really going to sit here and get Trump this 239? Come right. on now. Last one. Ready? <laughs> Miami Dolphins <laughs> quarterback Jay Cutler. Yeah. Seen here in Mexico. You're getting a whole, oh my God. The whole shot. Here's a whole butt shot. Bigger or smaller than hmm. Donald Trump? Well, I feel weird saying bigger or smaller than this dude's butt the ass naked. So I'm going to say he weighs. Less than Donald Trump, but he is taller than Donald Trump. You're close. He's 6'3", 233. So same height, weighs less than Donald Trump. Okay, let me say this. Donald Trump weighs more than 239. All he's been doing is golfing a little bit and consuming quite a bit of fast food. Yeah, but isn't that the way to live, by the way? He's 71 years old. Do I expect him to be doing a CrossFit competition? No. And single arm dumbbell snatches right. and fighting in a gym? No. But if you want to just be real, he padded the stats. So if you have some advice for Donald Trump on how to get in better shape, what's your advice for Donald Trump? Consuming at least a half a gallon of water to flush right. out all the BS, because you're full of BS. Flush <laughs> it all out of your system. Then get on a treadmill uh-huh. and walk. Okay, every day? Walk every day on a treadmill, spend 60 minutes, incline that baby up to six or seven, uh-huh. burn yourself some calories, actually read some stuff and learn more about the country, and then get off Twitter. <laughs> there you go, see, real. <laughs> Some real health advice from Tyra Woodley. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Today's on a real. I was gonna start with uh, the big fight in the NBA: the Clippers versus the Rockets. I but love now you've this. all heard about this, right? Chris Paul led some teammates through a secret tunnel at Staples Center to go and try and fight Austin Rivers and a bunch of other Clippers players. Do you believe this? I believe it and I actually like it because sometimes they go, oh, I got charged. Right. Oh, it's too hot in here. I can't play basketball. They do it in soccer too, faking like they got right. you know, hit. So um, I think a little physical activity in NBA but is not guys, a bad thing. These guys really wanted to fight after the game because it was chippy during the game. You know, Chris Paul used to be in the Clippers or some Look bad blood. That. After the game, they went through the secret tunnel at Staples Center to go fight these guys in the locker room after the game. So it's like you at the club, you get to a fight, you're like, hold on, I'll be right back and you yeah. go and pop the trunk. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah, exactly. Wow. So as a professional athlete, as a professional uh, fighter, have you ever seen like a beef spill outside of the octagon and into kind of like the real world? Um, what kind of called me a bitch. Really? There's one thing that you can't you call me is a bitch. And what I think is sometimes you in this mode, whether I'm here at Tim Z or if I'm somewhere else or if I'm in the octagon or doing an interview, um, you got certain filters, but when someone crossed that line, you can't help but go back to where you're from. And I've seen it myself, you know, I let it know really clearly, you don't call me a bitch, brother. So Conor McGregor, when did Conor McGregor call you a bitch? UFC 205, he got mad because he had on that um, Cuella DeVille fur coat that um, he still had the price tag on. Right. And he was fake acting like he was, that he was going to throw a chair. Right. And I'm like, well, this is some bullshit. Let me take a video of right. it. He got mad, like, you, you're a woman with that phone. You like a woman with that phone. Why'd you do it then? Right. So he got mad, so he tried to call me a bitch. 
And I said, brother, don't you ever call me a bitch. Right. And so that's so I it really wasn't at that ass. point. It wasn't about entertainment value or selling a fight or anything like that. It was like you've insulted my manhood, and yeah. now we need to fight. Yeah, you just where I'm from. You don't spit in a guy's face. You don't put your hand in their face. You don't call him a bitch unless you really want to um, see what these hands do. So what happened after that? Have you heard him tweet anything about me since? <laughs> not really. Not one no. peep. Not a peep from the boom boom room. Anybody else? DC you know man. To be, I mean, I know we probably gonna talk about this later because he got a big fight coming up. Daniel Cormier. You'll see 220, but um, a lot of people think that DC and John Jones beef is fake. Right. DC and John Jones beef was authentic. DC felt at one point in time because I was actually in the club at the time. I was with John. We was hanging out. And then DC came in the club and he felt as if John was telling sponsors, if you work with DC because I don't like him, then I don't want to work with you. Right. Then DC was like, no, nah, man, you're taking money off my kid's table. And he wanted to pull up, like really pull right. up to him. So that's authentic beef in my opinion. So there's, I mean, yeah, when you talk about money, yeah. you're not talking about fighting, that sounds real. So how do they solve that? They just got in the octagon. You know what? I don't know exactly what happened. I think John Jones is mine. Like, okay, I want to just whoop your ass in a cage. I think DC, a lot of people don't realize that DC's from Lafayette, Louisiana. Right. And even some of the guys, he still hang out with some rough guys. So he's just from that environment, from that lifestyle. So he couldn't help to bring that out. A fight in the octagon is different than a street fight. So Daniel Cormier is no bitch. Daniel Cormier <laughs> is no bitch. Do you know that Daniel Cormier once hit me in the face with a pie? That sounds like DC. You want to see it? Hey, John, I really hey, appreciate I'm a, it. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. I'm, 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 an evil, I'm an easy guy, and you just called me John. I should hate oh. You just called me John. Evan, there will come a time when you have to go face to face with me. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be fun. I'm not going to lie, DC. When you come here, I'm not going to lie to you. I, pie to the face. Scared, yeah. And that time is now. <laughs> uh, I, I think this is you something that yeah, Evan Bumbleblum definitely yeah. has earned. Take this. I'm not afraid. Get All right, my out. man. I'm not afraid. You don't call me. What? What's my name, Evan? Your name is Dick. I'm By the way, my face hurt for like three days after that. Cause he can't. You, <laughs> you was, in, you was in hang time right there yeah, for a second. Pretty much. All right. Usually when we do punch in the face, pat on the back, we have two pieces of video. Somebody you punch in the face, and then somebody you pat on the back. This week we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you a video, and you get to decide whether this person deserves a punch in the face or a pat on the back. And that person this week is Logan Paul. Remember the last time we spoke about Logan Paul, he was getting killed for uh, posting a YouTube video yeah. featuring a dead body in the suicide forest in Japan. He'd been getting crushed by critics. YouTube was mad at him. He's lost sponsors. He's, you know, he's been under a lot of fire for this. Yeah. So TMZ got him out the other day and asked him, do you deserve a second chance? And this is what he said. Do you think you deserve a second chance? Say again? Do you deserve a second chance, would you say? Everyone deserves second chance as well. What have you, what have you learned from what's transpired recently? Everything. So many things. Have you got a message to YouTube at all? Like, it's coming. You're going to give a message to YouTube? Absolutely. soon. Do you believe him? Do you think he deserves a punch in the face because he's full of crap? Or do you think he deserves a pat on the back for being genuine and really kind of understanding what he did wrong? He didn't even look like he wanted to talk to you guys. He was fondling with his headphones. He said he's going to come out with something soon. Right. If he's genuinely sorry, bring it out right now. Let me, let me, feel, let me feel the goosebumps right, right. now. Right. I didn't really feel the goosebumps. So your ass still getting punched in the face by you me. You don't think that there was like a, an honest, real moment with him where, you know, it's a big, like oh, you said. Oh, that one part where he was like, I learned a ton. <laughs> you think it's nah, crap? You're no. not buying it. Hell no. Let me see the video when he um, do the YouTube and come out with the apology. See, that's going to feel to me pre-produced and like too many bills and whistles in it. This is like. This is a chance right here. Yeah, but I feel like, yeah, I know, man. So, so you, you want to punch him in the face? So you trying to pat him on the back. I don't know. What did he say right. that right. made right, you fine. think? All right, punch him in the face. All right, that's it for us here at the Hollywood Beatdown. Tyron, tell the people what to do. Hey, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, make sure you go down, click subscribe. You can watch several episodes of Hollywood Beatdown, plus other um, TMZ shows. got good videos. Good videos. And then if you're on the Facebook page, we love you. We appreciate you. We got your back. But slide your narrow butt on down to the YouTube channel and yeah. subscribe there. I'll uh, see you next week. Before we go, what are you doing tonight? Tonight I'm going to the premiere Den of Thieves. Yeah, with 50 Cent? Hey. You better come back with stories. I'm definitely going to have stories. <laughs> After party stories. We'll see you next week.